What's going on YouTube? Sorry. Sexual J here. And I haven't made a video in a really long time. And I'm sorry, guys. I just have not had the time with school starting back on. And so, a little side note from the video here. iOS 6 came out. Just Apple did a pretty good job with that. All the new stuff came out. Just, just a little side note. So today I'm going to be reviewing my new tactical vest. Which, by the way, I am loving. Okay, I've already used it like five or six times. And it's just wonderful. Okay. So I'm going to be doing a review on that. It's, uh, I'll give you all the details on that. So let's get to it. So here we have it. So, magazine pouches, flashlight holder, holster, canteen. And if you can see that, a medical kit. And canteen. Oh, go to that. It's got some extra stuff. And with that, I got this uh, really cool flame retardant belt from the surplus store here in Jacksonville. A Army Navy Outdoors. A Army Navy Depot. Sorry. A Army Navy Depot. A Army Navy Depot.com. You can check them out. I'm pretty sure they ship. Can't say with complete 100%. But the guy's really nice there. He can, uh, he can help you out with anything you need. They've got surplus. He's got stuff he orders from Condor and Voodoo and everybody else. And he buys from the military, too, and individual people that come in. So that's that. And so it's a really cool belt. I like it a lot. Okay. So let's get into the individual stuff now. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So first, we have this first aid kit right here, guys. Kit first aid. All right. So let's open that up and uh, make sure you guys what's inside. It's uh, it's pretty nice. It's, it looks pretty, pretty. It's pretty sturdy. It's not double stitched or anything, but you know, that's all right. Inside, it actually holds quite a bit. It's got a little instructions guide. Um, a little bit of aspirin. A little bit of soap. Soap. Okay. And. Some gauze, or no, some tape, sorry. Some gauze. A little bit of sugar, which I'm pretty sure there's a medical use for sugar, but I need to look that up. BZK towelette. Another one. A little bit of alcohol preparatory wipes. And some band aids. Essential and a gauze pad. So that's that. This medical kit's really nice. I like it and it's very compacted and it's not a big bulk on my vest. It just kind of rides along, goes with the flow, you know. And the only thing is, I'm probably going to add some stuff. You know, add some Tylenols, that kind of stuff. I know there's that aspirin in there, but you know, I'm going to add some some of my own stuff. But that's that and I really like it. So moving on. Alright next we got the canteen. Right there. For water only. Do not apply canteen to open flame or what's that say? Burner plates. So this is plastic. This is military surplus by the way. Cool little fact. This on the top, you'd think it's a little drinking nozzle, the but it's not. It was actually used so they could go up to a truck with it, and they could just put it on, and it would fill up. And with this, the guy told me the story. He said this is one of the best things you can buy. I would recommend buying this for camping or anything, really. It's a military issue metal cup. I just keep that on there, you know, so if I need to boil some water, I'm out in the woods, or uh, really just do any of that kind of stuff, you know, guys. It's just a good good little cup and then it comes in this fleece holder and that's it's pretty sturdy too that's also surplus so I really like this canteen it, uh, it holds quite a bit of water and then also that cup fits on there and doesn't take any up hardly any extra space so I like that all right moving on all right next this uh, holster this is just a standard uh, holster 
adjustable. You can pull these off and up and down and then up again and tighten that. It's got a pretty secure thing here. It hooks on to the molly on the vest. And it's got this, which I'm still not really sure. But it's a Condor OD Green holster. And so far, I really, really like it. It's uh, not that bad, actually. Um, it it works well. Haven't noticed any problems with it. You know, it's pretty heavily stitched, and it's not double stitched, but it's got big, thick stitches, and it's made out of good material. It seems like so that's held up well. I've only had it for a couple two, week and a half now. It's a birthday present. So, I sh like that, guys. So, I recommend Condor. Shout out to them. They are very good. So, I, sh I think I just got something else from them over there. Alright, moving on. Okay, sorry guys. I do not want to take these off because they're kind of a pain to take off. But they're good because they hold up extremely well. Um, magazine pouches. I have a flashlight pouch. These are really good. Um, I like them a lot. They just seem to... Like I said, this is something that a guy picked up from somebody who walked in and sold it to him. He said he knows some about the company, but not enough, really. So, I think they make stuff for the U.S. Air Force. A company called Paraclete. So, if you guys got any information on that, comment, please. But, I like them. Uh, magazine pouches are standard magazine pouches. They just hold about any magazine. And then, same thing with the flashlight, hold about little, any LED light. I just have in there right now, a little, I mean, just a little LED. So, you guys want to see this. It's small, it's compact, but it's bright, so I carry that around. Alright, moving on. It's but certainly not least. The Voodoo Tactical Vest, which is amazing. I love them. I love it. Just the name is even better. It's Voodoo, so. And it's all, I think it's double stitched. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it's double stitched. And it's got these little pockets on the inside. On the left, right, and the back, little mesh pockets. Those are nice. And then it's got, I just bought a standard platform vest, which has everything on the back, sides, and front, so I could customize it however I want, and I wasn't limited by what was on there, and I think that was definitely the right choice. That might not be right for you, but for me, I, I just wanted to be able to customize what I have, so that's that. Last but certainly not least is the belt. Okay, let's look at this now. It, I really, really like it. I've worn it a few times. London Bridge Trading Company. Fire Retardant Uniform Riggers Belt. London Bridge Trading.com. Made in the USA. You guys can take a look at that. This was another thing. Someone came in and sold them. But, you know, give the guy a call. Numbers on the website. ARMYNAVYDEPOT.COM I'll put it in the description below. Um, but, you know, I really like this belt. Flame retardant. Everything. So, I will try to have a video up later on of a range video with it. And then, I just got a new holster the other day. So, I might do a video on that. And, I don't know. We'll see. So thanks for watching, you guys. Please subscribe, comment, may tell me how I can do stuff better. And I will talk to you later. Peace out. Stokesville GA here.